Escaping Nina's coffee shop for a brief rider's break to eat for the first time in the day? On my way to my car, I turn the corner to a scenario that's already occurred twice this week. So now, for the third time in the lapse of seven days, I've walked this same street to run into nobody other than Garrison Keeler, which makes it now the third time I've watched him step out of his shitty, dilapidated, doo-doo-colored Volvo, muster an arthritic geriatric strut to the sidewalk like the pimp of St. Paul, step onto the curb like a podium to an Olympic gold medal, and as we cross paths, he gives a split second's glance, peering over his skyscraping jagged shoulder, a fleeting look of disapproval, bestowing a sliver of his immaculately important attention as if to say, hmm, yeah, hmm. Young writer, please. I've slow danced syndications, written multisyllabic rhythms. How I've mistakenly coughed poetry, finer than your most well thought out configuration of creative literature. Hmm, yeah. My right brain is larger than that of your alma mater's English department, whilst my left would snap the psyche of a small school of business. Go take that alley next time you see me on these streets, young writer. The sidewalk belongs to me, motherfucker. And in that same exact moment, I deliver a similar glare, one of deep repressed emotion, curving a question mark, feigning great and furious anger. I give him a look that says, it is I, Toussaint Morrison. I don't know why it's in an English accent, it just sounds more authoritative that way. And I will not take any alley upon arrival of you, your shite colored car, or your shabby royalty. I am known to far less than your name entertains, but I am not entertained. I give approximately negative 39 fucks for the likes of you, and although you do not know who I am, you soon will. I am the undocumented offspring of Charles Bukowski, the seed from the loins of Malcolm X, the illegitimate adopted son from the brief gay marriage of Balfi and Shane Hawley, a child of chaos, mistress of militants, close kin to confrontation, student from the school of Doctor Strange, nephew to the pending race riot, and defiler of passive aggression. I am a lesser known force, but a force nonetheless. I, too, swing the pen, old white man. And I will walk any street I see fit for walking, despite your glare, like a cop condescending and entitled, despite you move like gentrification, slow and evil. Just like that, our trance breaks, paths cross, and continue into our day. He continues into a city that will embrace his every word. And I continue to my equally shitty and dilapidated Honda Civic to grab a sandwich from the glove compartment to eat, to fuel myself, to write, and embrace the city with my every word. 